Hello YouTube lovers, welcome. My name is Alex Buren. I'm the founder of this new internet channel and my company is New Century Marvel. In this first episode I will talk about a very popular material, a type of marble that uh, every homeowner uh, could use on a budget. It could be found in the doorways, could be found in the window sills in all states including Florida, New York and California. Uh, it's, this material is called white Carrara. Sometimes it's spelled Carrera. It's an it's a entry-level type of marble because it's pretty common and ubiquitous. It's been exported and developed in Italy in a quarry called Carrara. Um, Price-wise, for example, this threshold, which is, has dimensions 6 by 36 inches and it has uh, Hollywood bevel on one side and standard bevel on the other, could be in a range from $150 to $250. Uh, it's, it's not an expensive material uh, and it's perfect entry-level choice for, for an average home owner and gives you the look of the expensive marble and uh, this particular threshold is uh, 2cm which is three, 3 quarters of an inch it's a standard uh, threshold and popular in, in uh, states such as New York and California in Florida though there could be a slightly thinner threshold standards maybe 5 eighth of an inch so when you shop, uh, pay attention to the thickness. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Hollywood uh, uh, bevel. This particular threshold, it has one side, one side which is more skewed than the other. Why, why we do that? Because, for example, these thresholds are installed in, um, in the doorways as the door threshold. When on one, in one room you have the carpet, which is lays low and in the other room for example kitchen or a game room you have a tile and this creates unevenness on the surface and this threshold allows you to make it smoother transition for example if you if you're trying to roll a cart or just not to, to tip over the, the threshold plus it protects from from the water damage if for example in one room you have a flooding it might raise the level of the of this separation between the rooms and protect your home from from flooding everywhere. If we consider it a minor minor flood, of course it's a it's not a huge dam. It's not going to protect you from anything. Uh, it's a pretty heavy material. Even though I hold it pretty easily like this, it's this particular threshold could be easily over 15 pounds in, in weight. And since this is stone, this is not plastic, this is not uh, metal, this is a stone, it's pretty fragile. For example, it has thickness of three quarter of an inch, and if I make a mistake and I hold this stone on the sides, like, like this, it might crack right in the middle. So the rule of thumb, if you want to lift this threshold, you need to first lift one side like this, put your arms beneath, and lift it. So you're the center of gravity will not be all considered on the sides, will be somewhere closer to the middle. So you have more chances of not breaking this, this piece. It's pretty expensive, right? If you buy it online for $250, you don't want to ruin it just by unpacking the, the material. So it is fragile. How it's shipped? I usually uh, advise the customers, if this is a long threshold, for example, 36 inches or even longer for your bathroom, for your kitchen, 48 inches, 16 inches, let's not do the shipping at all, because the, no matter how much we pack it, how, uh, how strong the packaging is, how many peanuts you put inside, the air bubbles, all the protecting corners, it might get ruined in a... In a in the, during the, 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 the transaction. So any large threshold try to deal with a local fabricator or local store to examine and pick it up personally. But we do ship it and we figure out a way to do it. It's our protected, protected uh, know-how and we, we ship it nationwide, those thresholds. 
Um, so this is basically, uh, this is a very brief introduction video just to get going, to get the, the channel started. Um, I would like to thank you for watching it to, to this point. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments in the, uh, underneath in the question area. Uh, tell me what you like about this video, what you didn't like. Uh, give us uh, some feedback. And if you like this channel, please subscribe, give us some likes. And uh, let us know what kind of materials you would like to uh, talk about in the next episode. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.